So I decided not to announce the special and just go with it. I, I'm hosting a 12-player room on Game Ranger titled 12-player FFA King of the Hill at pretty much early in the morning. So I don't think any of you guys will make it in time, but uh, we have like three people, well, four people who are followers. The rest are just random Game Ranger people. So that's fine. We're going to have a 12-player FFA room. Um, he says go. Let me check if he speaks English. No, he doesn't. Uh, he, he speaks Portuguese. I can't really communicate with him. Um, Vegas plus two. I'm sure he can understand that. So yeah, uh, we're just waiting for more people. And this might be epic, but the problem is there are quite a few Hispanics. And I'm not being racist, but they do lag often. I'm assuming that, um, you know, it's a slightly poorer country and there might not be good internet connection there. That's why most Hispanics lag. And... Yeah, I'm pretty sure these two Hispanics will lag up the game, but we'll find out. Plus one. Where's this guy from? Germany? British sure Germany. Uh, plus one. Yeah, so... Oh, yes! Is this 12? 3, 6, 9, 12. We got 12. Let's go. All right, some idiot decided to leave right when I clicked launch, so now I have to wait for the people to get back in. <sighs> oh, Dark Templar. Nice name. <laughs> I'm going to tell him. Yeah, so this should be pretty exciting. Um, I tried to make an announcement on Reddit, but nobody joined yesterday on Voobly. So, uh, so basically, I I don't know. I didn't really announce this at all. So yeah, let's hope we still get lots of people in there. All right. So one guy couldn't connect. Well. I kicked him out because uh, he basically prevented like everyone from connecting. Anyway, so no random, all FFA, free for all, one v one v one v one. I'm just spamming it out, but I hope they understand that it is one v one v one v one. Uh, pretty much this is gonna be a 2000 special. Well, if you guys are already viewing this, you're you know that, right? <laughs> but it's a king of the hill, as most people suggested. I should make a king of the hill. 12 player FFA, I know I kicked one guy, that doesn't matter, 11 player FFA on King of the Hill, I'm going random gods, random gods if you have balls. So, yeah, that's that's my uh, motivation for anyone who goes random. <laughs> I mean, Isis is pretty overpowered, and I'm pretty sure Flame can play, uh, he's like 1650 plus, so he actually can play. So yeah, whoever is going Isis is a complete cheap person. I'm not going to say noob because they're not noob. <laughs> but yeah, they're just cheap. I guess maybe I should go some got to Thor? Isis? Should I be Isis? Um, Not nah, random is good. <laughs> I might lose this, who cares? <sighs> My computer is so full of um, raw video content that I actually had to put the recording of this direct video onto a one terabyte external drive thingy, external hard drive. I'm Odin, what? One, two, three, four, five, six Odins. Wow, half the players are Odin, I can't believe it. And there's nothing really special about Odin, I mean, Yarrow's late game and Ragnarok, that's about it. There's nothing really good about Odin. All right, so here's the plan, guys. I'm gonna boom it out. I'm gonna take some few town centers, like, I guess three-way town center, uh, three-way boom or whatever. Whereas I'm hoping the others will be busy, distracted by the middle of the map. So that's my plan, just to take town centers. And as we can see, I think Chami is lagging up the game. Um, <laughs> Fifty percent of the people are Odin. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So obviously, the trick on this map is that if I capture the middle, I get a good income, an extra income of resources. So I'm gonna do is make a house and then immediately go for the middle, capture it, and then run back. So. Even though I'll only get it for like one minute, one minute is good enough because I'll get that many free resources from the middle of the map. So that's really good. And my plan, like I said, mid game is to boom it out. So even though I will not have the middle of the map, at least I can boom it out and I have so many resources that I'll be even with whoever is taking the middle. Um, so that's the plan and I think that's a pretty good game plan for this specific map. Ariana is also Odin. Wow, everybody's Odin. Wow, I can't believe this. All right. Uh, <laughs> Odin OP. <laughs> Odin sucks in my opinion, but whatever. I'm not really pl What? There's water on this map? What? There's water on King of the Hill since when? <laughs> He's like, I'm right beside him. <laughs> Why is there water on this map? I don't get it. Is there. What? I don't get it. 
There's water on this map. There is water on this map. What the? F I don't get it. How is there water on this map? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh wow. He's like, I wasted great on <laughs> Yeah, oh, this is gonna be pretty crazy. I did not expect this. Water on King of the Hill? Are you serious? So we can only get in there with transport ships. Then my complete... I mean, sorry. Then my game plan is completely screwed over. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? I can't just go in the middle. I can't... I can't do anything. What am I supposed to do? Um, so obviously I'm gonna go for water. And nobody can really gain the water control since there are 11 players. Which is... Pretty <laughs> impossible to get water control. Just keep in mind the chat log, so yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, this is pretty impossible. Of course, we have a lagger flame. I didn't expect him to lag though. I thought Chen was a lagger. Chammy, I mean. Um, but whatever, it's not that bad. Just yellow connection. Better than the last FFA. On that, we I think we had a stronger lag. Um, or I might be confusing it with a different thing, but yeah, whatever. Strange try can't pick non strange maps, it's against the law. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Wow, you have, I mean, I have so many fish here, that's, wow, this map is, is pretty interesting. Alright, wait, 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 how did Pink know I'm right beside him if he didn't scout me out? Like, I'm not gonna say, oh, map hacker, but still, how did he know? Uh, I'm gonna send message to only Ariana. Oh, I have to do this manually, cancel out everyone from the chat. Alright. Uh, okay, who wants to make a treaty, he says. <laughs> How did you know? Uh, okay, how did you know I'm right beside you? I just asked him or her, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty curious to see the answer because I don't think he's scouted me out. <laughs> he's like all versus Strange Strike. <laughs> yeah, that's a good plan. Uh, let's see, who's the best player in this room? Uh, what god is smashed? Smashed is Thor, and he has a really good score. Weedy isn't that good. Um, smashed, I think, is the best player in this room. Pretty sure he is. He seems pretty good. Um, that, that seems like an accurate guess. Uh, of course, there's not much food on the map. This is gonna be so crazy. 11 people on water, and of course, he's already attacking my dog. Like, okay, of course he picks on me, of all the people, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna use Great Hunt right here, get the rhinos. How does Green have such a high score? That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure he went for earlier water than I did. And, of course, he can rely on dwarves and not get delayed on villagers like I am. So, he is doing really good on economy. Um, that's, that's good. So, it's gonna be kind of hard to kill him. Oh no, am I out of fish already? Are there no more fish around me? Please have three more here. Just uh, no, 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 no. Oh, there are no more fish. Well, they're kind of far. I guess I will claim them, but I hate going for far fish. It just wastes your population, in my opinion. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna really rush anyone. I'm just gonna play defensively. Green has such a high score. I'm not even kidding. Ah, oh, plus 30 on me. No food on this map, by the way. Yeah. Um. Learn to scout, noob. <laughs> of course, that's how I'm gonna talk with him. <laughs> oh, I need more dwarves. I just realized I've been oversaturating yeah. food for a while now. I'll get more on wood actually, because I'm gonna boom this out, right? So I need lots of wood. Nobody captured the middle. I cannot believe it. This hasn't really ever happened to me. So I need to get a transport ship out as soon as possible. Oh, here's already. He's already classic. Oh, that's really smart. That is really smart. Ooh, I don't know how we're gonna capture that back actually. That was really smart, I gotta admit. Um, oh, but the shades are attacking the snakes. Still, he got it. Wow. That was actually smart. Wow. That was really good. I did not expect that. Um, using serpents in the middle of the map. Wow. Of course, none of the other Isis players can copy a strategy, but this was really smart. I've never actually seen this move pull up. Then again, I don't play King of the Hill. And this is where he was prosperity, so I'm pretty sure Green is right beside me as well. Um, lots of players are right beside me, which kind of sucks. I forgot to make Hursters, I forgot to upgrade Hand Axe, Pickaxe. I forgot to do everything I know. I should stop blabbering on because I'm kind of uh, forgetting the key points of the game. Anyways, my plan is to boom, but I can't find a single town center in sight, so I should start scouting right about now. Um, and he still has the middle. I don't know how we're going to capture this back within 7 minutes, to be honest. I'm not kidding. How are we going to capture this back? And he, 
Don't forget that during this whole time, he's getting great income of resources from the Plenty Vault. So whoever gets the Plenty Vault gets a great income of resources. Now, he's the one getting the income, and I don't know how we're going to get it, take it away from him. Um, so this, this is a quick start on an interesting game. And I can't find any town centers. Should I go fast heroic because I have so much food? But it's such a waste to go fast heroic on this specific map because I'm trying to play defensively. So um, I'd rather... Oh, I found a town center. I'd much rather not... Oh! Not fast heroic. But instead take as many town centers as I can. Because that's a better move. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And of course I have no houses. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to make more on wood. And where's my... Oh, sorry, oh, there it is. Another town center right here. So I'm going to take this one first, and then I'll take these other three around the map. Uh, should be pretty good. And wow, look at my food count. I can actually get to the heroic almost. Heroic age. Um, I'm just going to focus on wood. And of course, upgrade shaft mining. So that's going to be all good and dandy. And yeah, I'm kind of distracted by the middle. The green score is going to just rise slowly um same with the other green wow look pink is good too the hungarian team hungary <laughs> he's really good i mean not really good but he's better than i thought so the top score leaders currently oh, of course he rates me but the top score leaders are currently us four um oh wow light green is actually tied at the lowest score so maybe he's getting attacked or he just sucks but um he's not doing as good as i thought and I kill Xanabite, nice. Oh, of course, more harassment. Getting double harassment on here. He's actually doing a good job attacking my uh, Ulf Sark, not any other unit. But he loses his Sphinx. That was not good. Um, he didn't intend to do that, I know. <laughs> They're chatting so much, I'm kind of missing out. And I forgot to make houses. What a surprise, wow. So I definitely need to take as many town centers as I possibly can, but I really messed up because I needed to get hearses out on the field a lot sooner. Um, and nobody harassed me on water except Flame, of course. Flame just makes a dock right beside mine and tries to kill me. So Flame obviously is a better player. Um, he's right here actually, so I don't think he can attack me di directly because green is in the way. And green isn't that bad, so I found out that Teal is the best player in this room. Well, I think Teal and I in this room. Um, so it's gonna be pretty tight between him and I, but let's see who won fast heroic. All right, so green won fast heroic. Um, nice. Wait a minute, he's he's heroic and he has his middle. I don't know what to say because I have no idea how we're gonna capture it back. And he's making town centers as well. So green is really scary. I know his score is low, but he is really scary. Oh, the middle. We just need to. <laughs> What's Flame doing? He's just getting... Oh, wow. Okay, so I need to get a transport ship out before he kills me on water. That is a must. Oh, Green's right here. I just realized. Did... Did somebody just resign? Oh, he got, like, tripled or something. Wow. So... <laughs> wow. So... I can't believe it. He was, like, tripled, I bet. And he just resigned. But in my perspective, this is a really early resign. But I'm forgetting that I'm not being attacked yet. So it's not even an early resign, he just got attacked, like, a lot. Where did he use... Oh! This was a waste, I admit. That was a waste. Um, so somebody went for the middle with a Valkyrie, and he wasted Ancestors in the middle. And I might as well do the same thing as he did, go to the middle with a Valkyrie, but... That was a waste, I gotta admit. Uh, okay, I have more Hercers here, take this Town Center. And I need gold. I just need gold. But I can't get any gold because I'm spending it all on making town centers. And you know, anything I can really, so uh, this is pretty intense. But look at how close our bases are. We're like a few squares apart, really. Um, so <laughs> he's trying to troll everyone by saying, go on all allies chat. Everyone go to live chat, I mean, because then you can't communicate with anyone else. Three minutes left and Green's gonna win the game. Three minutes middle of map. Oh, I can't type. Oh my god. So we need to reclaim the middle. I'm gonna go for it <clears throat> because this is getting crazy. We cannot let him win by taking the middle like that. So definitely gotta reclaim the middle. I'm um, not gonna destroy this dock. It's not that important. It's not in the way really. I'm just gonna scout around the map with this raven. All right, so I'm not doing too bad, but two minutes left and he's gonna win the game. Are you serious? And no, don't, don't, don't kill my Valkyrie. No, no, no. Attack him, not me. Yes, he got the middle. Yes. Thank you, Weedy. 
Weedy saved the day. All right, that's pretty good. So now we are safe. No need to worry about getting raped by the middle again. Um, oh, you got a really good relic. Really good relic. Uh, oh, here's a big problem on this map. We cannot use caravans late game because there's so many people. Bases everywhere on the map. We seriously cannot use caravans late game. So we have to control the gold mines regardless. There's no way that we can actually get caravans out on this map. So um, that's going to be a problem. And there go my ships. But don't worry, I expected this. I knew my ships were going to die sooner or later. That is why I'm going for a four towns there, boom. So no need to worry. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna die at least just yet. Um, and I'll send these guys on wood. Might as well. Uh, not much gold really, but it doesn't matter. And he's smart enough to not attack my dock when I have them all garrisoned in there. But this is a problem. He's making a base in the middle of the map. Map. So um, that's a huge problem because I have to get there with transport ships. And I can't make a base there just yet, so I definitely need to get out an army as soon as possible. Uh, even some docks, that would be good. Just get out as many docks as possible and whatnot. Alright, so there go my dwarves to death. What am I saying? Um, oh yes, I'm just getting distracted by something, but I don't even know myself what I'm getting distracted by. Alright, so more on wood. There's slight lag. I wish I would have invited more people to the Skype call, but... Oh, I totally forgot to do that. Wow, I should have invited people to the Skype call. This isn't even a Skype call, but... I should have made a Skype call and invited people to it, because that would be pretty awesome. I mean, this is a 2000 special, and I'm just soloing the commentary. Um, which isn't bad, but... I just now realize that it would be better if I invited someone. Oh well, so I did get some buildings up here, and of course Teal still harasses me. I don't get it. Why is he only attacking me in water when I have like nothing? Seriously. Um, he has his ships camping here instead of attacking everyone else on the water. And he is taking the score lead by a long shot. So Teal... Oh, he's Isis, that's why. And of course, just like the other FFA, I got a Norse God, which I'm gonna have to Ragnarok with. Whereas my enemy, the other best player in the game, is Isis. So I guarantee you, Flame is gonna win this 11-way FFA, uh, but just because he's Isis, and Isis wins late game. So, yeah, Odin isn't really recommended, to be honest. But, you know, I did go random, just I winged it, so it's all good. Uh, let's see, I need more farms in the middle of the... I mean, wait a minute, I should advance. Why am I not making villagers here? Kraken, yes! I'm gonna get some Krakens out. <laughs> Let's all be friends, smiley face. Yo, oh no, oh no, he's also in Yord, so he can also get Krakens out on the field. And that is very dangerous. I need to go to the middle and capture it right now. Flame has the middle. Huge problem. So I'm gonna spam some Throwing Axemen. Um, can't really do much more. I guess I could go for more Town Centers, but that's not really a viable option as... As uh, obviously I can't really get map control just yet, so what I'm gonna do is I think spam towers in the middle. That's a good idea, or I could just uh, make cavalry or something. I don't know. I gotta do something and gain official control of the middle of the map. But remember, my my secret plan I gotta say is that I'm gonna go for fast Ragnarok with a strong boom. That's my secret plan. So I'm not actually trying to capture the middle. That's kind of just a distraction for everyone else. So they would think I'm going for the middle, but oh, look at this. He has some mid goals in the middle, which is a problem because oh, I just canceled my upgrade because um, I can't make throwing axemen against him. Yeah, that's a huge problem. All right, what I need to do is, is um, advance to the mythic age, get out seed ships, get water control, and then someone's lagging. Of course, Chami's lagging. Um, let me tell everyone, kill black. Alright, so if we kill black, the lag will be gone. Who's cheating? He says cheating. Nobody's cheating. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he's a bit high today, but... Oh, look at this! I found his gold miners. <laughs> I found green's gold miners, so I'm gonna go for green right here. Uh, let's see, the biggest noob in this game currently is black. <laughs> Strike races because I said kill black. But yeah, you have to. We have to kill Black because he's lagging. Yellow is the other worst player. So those are the two worst players, unless Yellow has been harassed like three way or something. That's another option. 
now Teal really does have the middle. I shouldn't have gone Random God. I should have just actually gone Isis and done what he did. Uh, spam mid goals in the middle. But how was I supposed to know that... Ooh, look, should I go for Jarman? Nope, I'm gonna go for Ragnarok Yolo. Even though the other one might have been a better option, I don't really care. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have maxed out villagers soon enough, so... Yeah, what I need to do is just spam docks right about now. And I have no population. Perfect. No population. But I need to spam out docks. And then I gotta waste my population. On green, I'll, I'll tag green actually, just because he has so much score. He seems to be doing really good. So, And he's almost gonna harass me on the spot right here. So, <sighs> He's like, what? This isn't a hill? What kind of map is this? <laughs> it's an island. Why so racist? Oh! He killed my Valkyrie. Okay, here is the thing. Uh, I just wasted my walking woods, but that's not the main thing. The thing is that I'm gonna use Ragnarok, and then I can send all my units there using transport ships. So that's the plan. I can actually get in there with pure Ragnarok. Oh, look at this. Look at how many throwing axemen this guy has. It's pretty good. Uh, I need to max out my dwarf count. That would be useful. And of course, of course. Of course, I'm not making any dwarves, am I? Oh yeah, I am just over here. All right, so I am gonna max the dwarves. How many town centers does Flame have? Five town centers. He has the entire map control. He's been here. He's been here. I'm kind of scared right now because Flame has the entire map control. I'm not even kidding. Uh, and plus, I am gonna get harassed strongly in this area. I'm gonna garrison all inside here. And as soon as I get fortified town center, I think I'm gonna be safe either way. Alright, so what I need to do, uh, just upgrade my flaming arrows, and then boom, I think I'm sick. So what I need to do here is obviously defend my area, possibly even just um, get the frost giant. I mean, that's that's the biggest... He's going to destroy his town center. I'm only now realizing he might destroy. He might, but I did get fortified, so there isn't really a huge risk. And I'm going to get that guy down once the lag is gone. Of course, black is still lagging. Um, oh no, oh, there is lots of trouble here, but I'm going to get Masons in time, so that's good. Uh, he's not going to be able to harass me really on there, and I think I am pretty much safe right now. I'm pretty much safe right here, yeah, I got Masons up in time, now I'm just going to get Architects, and I have one repair. Um, should I use Ragnarok? No, I'm going to save up more resources before I use Ragnarok. So just gather everything I can for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to Ragnarok this out, uh, which should be pretty good. Uh, I lost the gold here. So I'm going to go for like, I don't know, 10,000 plus gold, and then I'm going to Ragnarok. Four minutes left before we lose the entire game. He's going to destroy my town center. No way. No, 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 no. Oh, he's got it. He got it down with pure throwing axemen when I was 90% plus with architects. Can't believe it. That's kind of lucky. <laughs> but whatever. Um, as long as he doesn't kill my villagers, it's all good. Alright, so I should... Once I get lots of gold, I am going to just Ragnarok this out. That should be good. Whoa, look at this. Kraken versus German Elver. I've never actually done this before. Who's going to win? Surprisingly, the German Elver is doing really good. I did not expect that. I thought the Kraken was a tank, and wow, only 69 hit points left. I cannot believe it. So the German Elver actually did lots of damage. Now, Green is attacking me with the Jarls, almost fully upgraded. I mean, that, that's pretty good, I gotta say. And he is Odin, right? Yeah, he's... Oh, he's Thor. Okay, so he doesn't have even more HP, but still, that's kind of scary. So, I am gonna Ragnarok out. The question is, when should I Ragnarok the game? Um, the main... Well, it's hard to say. Oh, he's gonna get the middle. He is gonna... He's gonna win by capturing the middle of the map. So, I, I'm gonna spam out some siege ships before I Ragnarok. So, at least then I can destroy these stuff. He has catapults. How am I gonna... I don't even know this. Alright, I need to get more GG. Oh, he lost too. Alright, so I'm getting harassed here. Oh, I can't keep up with what's happening. Um, basically, another guy died. And I gotta capture the middle or else I am screwed. So, oops. I'm just changing my screen brightness because it's way too dark since the sun actually came up by now. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All my villagers are gonna die. I was just about to Ragnarok. 
All my villagers are gonna die, I can't believe it! No! Don't do this! All my villagers! Oh, why? Why did he choose that god? I don't get it. That's so annoying. Ah. Oh. And two minutes left on the timer, and he's going to win the game. So because of this, it's actually harder for us to attack the middle, and he actually assisted the guy. Teal. He actually assisted Teal. I can't believe all my villagers are now going to die because he used that god power. Oh, wow. That really sucked. Yeah, I know two minutes. He's like two minutes trying to brag. Okay, I might as well um, use Ragnarok right now. I know I don't have economy, but... Um, wait, I have to get more villagers. Okay, once I max out villagers again, I'm going to use Ragnarok straight away because... Because I'm dying. Uh, and he's going to win the game in one minute, so I can't really stall much time. I have to use Ragnarok. I think I think I have to use it right now, actually. Um, right now. And I'm serious. Right now, because he's going to win the game. No question about it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I don't even care if I don't have population to do this. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. I need to get the middle of the map as soon as possible. As soon as possible. And he's like bragging that, oh, I have the middle, nobody can capture it, haha, I'm so special. But no, I need to get in there as soon as possible. I don't even care if I don't have my units here yet. I'm just gonna go for it, hashtag yo, let's go. Why can't I ungas in all four at the same time? Do I have to do this one by one? Are you serious? Alright, no problem. I'm just gonna capture the middle, take it away from him, and um, then just use my Ragnarok and hopefully destroy everything, right? Um, that's the plan, at least. That is the plan. Alright. So. Uh, so these two guys are gonna... Un Garrison, don't kill it, don't kill it. No, my four fire giants. Oh. Okay, he won the game. I think he... Wow, he killed everything. I think he won the game. Yeah, Teal wins camping. Just because it was water, I can't believe it. Teal wins. How come his ships were right here instead of here? That's what I don't get. If I attacked from here, I would have been safe, but they were luckily right there. So, Teal wins. Uh, that sucked. I expected a better game, but this only lasted 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucked. I expected a better game. <laughs> yeah, he just camped in the middle with Isis. Uh, this was this is what happens every time people don't go random god they get Isis and then they win if if he actually went random it would have been so much more fun yeah if he actually went random god <laughs> if everyone would have gone random god then it would be so much more interesting should we rematch but that's uh, everyone random god because every big FFA Isis wins game and every time I random god and they don't, they win since they're Isis. So I want to, I actually might want to redo this game, but everyone random god. Because I hate how he just camps with Isis, same with everyone else. I mean, of course the last FFA, it wasn't a king of the hill, but still Isis wins this automatically. So I want to do random gods. Get out. So I'm just playing uh, another FFA, but this is only with five players. It's not going to be something epic, but I, just, I I, don't know. I just didn't feel like the massive 11-player game was that epic. I mean, it was over in 20 minutes flat. Um, so it wasn't that epic. We're just going to play a normal FFA. Um, wow, they all have my taunts. I can't believe it. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just playing a normal FFA. And um, I'm Isis, but it's, it's not really advantageous because Isis only wins FFA games with like 10 plus people, not with 5 people. With 5 people anything can happen. Uh, but anyways, what I decided to do is after this, I'm basically going to go back to the record games and pull, oops, pull up the game again so I can point out exactly what happens during the, throughout the entire game. And then it might actually be interesting, um, the 11 player FFA. Now this map sucks as we all know. Uh, he set I'm Isis, double Gaia and Zeus. So that means nobody, well, only Zeus is really offensive on this. Uh, I might as well actually just boom it out again. 
um, safe boom. Except this time, I'm not gonna go for a four town center boom. I'm just gonna go for a two town center boom. The classic, and um, <clears throat> might as well just play normal. The problem is there are no fish really on this map, so I don't even know if it's a good idea to go go for the water because this always happens to me. I always get the one. I'm pretty sure there are fish here, but usually I always get the one side of the map that has zero fish. Yeah, I, I got lucky there are fish here. Um, so. I get pretty unlucky on this map all the time. Usually there's, well, there's always one corner that has no fish, right? And I always land on that one corner no matter what. That just happens to me all the time. So I thought that happened again. Not today. Hmm. This is, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's see. I don't know how good everyone is. Teal is your name supposed to say Vsauce. Just curious if that's what he's trying to... Okay, his Vsauce is a YouTuber, and he wrote Versus, which is like almost the same thing. He's not replying. I don't know if he uh, speaks English. Vsauce sucks. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I have no food. I have no food. Alright, so I don't know how I'm gonna play this out to be honest. Um. I basically have no food and there isn't really much food around me either, just these deer, that's it. Uh, I guess I should start spamming obelisks, that's a great idea, right? Nice, I actually got fish this time. I have six fish near me. Alright, so it's not that bad if I go for water. And boom, alright. Yeah, I think um, I should have planned this 2000 special a lot more. The problem is that suddenly I rose from like 1800 to 1950. So I kind of panicked and I wanted to get a special lot really fast. Um, and I didn't really contact anyone, so nobody came to multi-commentate with me. But, you know, I guess it's fine if, if I don't have anyone commentating a 2000 special. I mean, it's not a big problem. Uh, at least there aren't going to be any sound issues, right? But... Okay, wait, do they speak Lithuanian? I just now realized. Pretty sure they speak Lithuanian. I mean, what other language would sound like that? Either way, I don't have enough on wood. Only three. Oh, nice. Some more food here, walruses. Um, but no problem. I have the lowest score. Pretty sure Pink is a good player. I'm just like 90% sure Teal's a good player. Oh, I ran out of fish in my part. Alright. Um, great. Fabulous. Fantastic. So I'm gonna go for a monument right here. Then I need to get gold in advance. But this is um interesting. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Isis only wins games with 10 plus people. See, Isis isn't that OP. I mean, it wins games with lots of people because Isis is the best late game. But if it's a small game like this, anything can happen. Uh, plus, uh, Pink seems to be kind of good, as well as green. Green also seems to be really good. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. I need to take off my fair off of wood because obviously I don't need it there. And I fish all the way over here. I don't want to go that far. I'm just going to scout out the sea, I guess. I mean, might as well. <sighs> okay, what I need to do is get out of temple as soon as possible. Actually, I'm going to use my fair to make a temple. That's not a bad idea, eh? Eh? No, wait, wait. How do Canadians talk? How do Canadians stereotypically talk? It's not a bad idea, mate. No, that's that's not Canadian. It's not a bad idea, eh? <laughs> it's a boot time we talk about this. But they don't talk like with an accent. They just say a a lot, apparently. According to stereotypes. So I'm just flowing along. Oh, nice. There's some fish here. I might make a dock right here. And then claim these four fish. Yeah, right here, actually. That'd be pretty good. I might do that later. Um, for now, though, for now, I forgot to make obelisks. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not doing that good, I admit. I know. I'm sucking. No problem, though. Um, as long as I can just scout around, which I didn't, and I find the town centers, which, once again, I didn't find, um, I could do good. Now, it seems like Teal is a pretty bad player. Um, I know he's Zeus, so still, Zeus is good. Um, he's a bad player because we have pretty much even scores, and I'm Egyptian. I found somebody hunting here. Let's see if they went for hunting dogs or water. Well, it'll be kind of stupid if they went for hunting dogs. I mean, who does that on a map like this? Uh, either way, I need to find the town centers. There might be one right here. I'd be lucky to find one there. Um, Zeus is right there. I'm not going to attack him. He's kind of a noob. 
Why is everybody quiet? Mice. Um, yeah, I can't find any town centers. I'm really hoping there has to be one right here. A settlement, I mean. Uh, and it doesn't seem like there is one because the forest is blocking it all off. So where am I supposed to make town centers? In the middle of the map? That's not safe at all. Um, there still might be one right here. Yes, there is one. Nice. Alright, that's good. I forgot to upgrade my uh, pickaxe. That kind of sucks. Instead of making a granary, why don't I just build this town center up? I just need a little gold and then I'm good. <laughs> yeah. People don't get the joke sometimes. Alright, let's see. Um, oh, look at all these fish on this side of the map. Whoever's there is kind of lucky. Let's see, they didn't even dock up. Some people didn't even go for water. That's kind of a surprise. Alright, so... Oh, I was going to make a house, I think. Um, yes, I was. Alright, so I'm going to just uh, get some food and then maybe prosperity this side kind of quick. And just boom out the game. That might be a good idea. So I'm going to scout around with this Sphinx. Not attack the Zeus player since he can bolt it really easily. And he does have a higher score now, which is a surprise. He was doing so bad earlier. Um, I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe these two players are both booming and their scores dropped. That might be an option. I'm pretty sure green is booming. That seems like a viable option. Um, but anyways, I don't have to worry about them for now. I'm just gonna chill out. Make some villagers. Yep, someone was booming. It was pink, actually. Wow, all right. I didn't expect that. What guy is he again? He is set. Right. So, yeah. Both Egyptian players are booming. That's nice. Um... And what am I doing? Oh yes, I was gonna go for prosperity. Of course, he spots me with his priest. I mean, oh nice, nice. I found all of his food. Hey, 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 hey! I was gonna scatter around with this. Stop dying to your priest. Okay, I need to go here because red is gathering from there. That's a good find, I gotta say. I have too much wood. What am I supposed to use this on? Maybe I'll just upgrade my fishing ships. Um, I forgot to take the dock. I know. I'm just gonna go for it right now. Okay, so I'm not doing too bad, but uh, I could be doing better. I know. Uh, where's the other gold ma up there and there? So I definitely need to get more gold gatherers just to go for prosperity, right? That's my plan at least. And of course my guy runs into all the arrow fire possible. Kind of sucks. Why are these guys not building? Um, either way, nice. Oh no, I hope green doesn't raid me because that would suck. Why is he not building? I swear I clicked on build. But... Alright, so I think it's a good idea to use prosperity now. It doesn't really matter that I don't have too much. I'm just going to upgrade shaft mining that I can prosperity out. Seems like a good idea since um, it's a good usage actually. So Yeah, uh, this is pretty good. I'm not really doing much, but at least not doing too bad. I might just make another monument soon enough right here. I don't want to get carnivore either way. Oh, look at this. Oh, never mind. I thought these were all fish, but there, there are some walruses in there. Oh, no. What kind of micro is this? This guy micros me out. All right, so I need to send my guys back home to heal. Kind of sucks. Um, and where, where, no, no, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I need to. No, no, no. Actually, I don't want to risk dying. So, um, I got to avoid all arrow fire. And I can't believe he actually survived that. Wow. So, yeah, what's going on here? Why are my fishing ships not even working? Uh, that's what I don't get. Um, okay, 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 hey, hey, hey. Good thing I didn't go mining there. I was just about to, but it's nice that I didn't. Right, I'm just going to delete this. And these guys are doing really good, I gotta admit. Um, kind of sucks. And, of course, he comes in. I need to upgrade crenellations now to counteract the terma. Okay, okay, time to just go for mining. And he went for a town center too. No, I can't use my prosperity. There's only 500 gold left in this mine. What's the point of attacking me in the middle of all the arrow fire? I'm not following this. Um, and plus, crenellations are right about done, so... There, now I got crenellations done. He doesn't know, but if he attacks now, it's not going to be a good idea. Now, where are my priests? Here it is. Um... Yeah, I'm not doing good. I know I'm sucking. And I'm pretty sure I have all my food gatherers idle right now, which which also sucks. Yes, I did. I knew it. Um, but the good thing is that actually I can send all these guys to gold as well. It might be a waste, but at least um, I don't find it a waste, actually. Go and go and go. Yes. Did you see that nice save? All right, so even if he attacks my villagers, crenellations are going to be a huge problem to him. Look at his terma just dying. Crenellations is a huge problem for him right now. 
Um, and I got really unlucky with the town centers. My town center is all the way out near the middle of the map, instead of on the side like a normal map should have it. Um, so that's pretty unlucky. He runs into my Sphinx and Crenellations again, so Green is not doing good at harassment. I mean, I know it's a good uh, strategy. He's doing good with the tactic, but he's getting kind of unlucky that I'm guarding it everywhere. And I forgot to upgrade that, which I normally upgrade earlier, but it's a really useful upgrade, actually. Where's my Sphinx? No, 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 don't die, don't die. I was just healing this nice guy. He's pretty innocent. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Go back to the Crenellations and die. Thanks. Come again. Uh, Alright, so now I'm just going to get all the possible gold. Did he just kill my villagers while I wasn't looking? Okay. Yeah, this sucks. Um, I thought his harassment did no good, but... Apparently it is doing something. Alright, so I am going to use... Make a tower here, first of all. And then I'm going to do what I need to do. Uh, actually, should I just... I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. Um, okay, I need to... Do stuff. Okay. Nice. Oh no, I can't make a tower now. Okay, wait, wait, no problem. This is the best time to actually use prosperity. I, I just realized. Uh, after I build this up. Okay, okay, okay. So now it's a perfectly safe time to use prosperity. So that's that's pretty good for me actually. Wow, I didn't even think of that. Still, I kind of want to finish that tower because it would be really useful. And where's my Sphinx? No, they killed it. Wow, that's so annoying. How did they kill it with only Terma, not even heroes? I don't get this. Either way, um, I have lots of gold now. I don't even need to gather gold for a long while. And I could just make more monuments and get favor and then take town center, actually, that's another good idea. I should have done that earlier. Um, wow, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're not doing too bad, though. That's a good thing. Um, Bolt has been used. Pink has three town centers already. So I'm just keeping up with the news. Everybody's doing pretty good. And I think now is a good time to finish the tower. Uh, Green should be back to harass me again. And I have a Leviathan out for the water. Now we're talking. That's really good for me. Alright, so I'm gonna f build this town center up. And like I said, I'm really unlucky with the town centers. I mean, I could have gotten a better spot. Let me just scout out if there's one near there. I don't think there would be, though. That would be way too lucky for my standards. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take this town center really fast. Oh, he spotted me! That's so lucky! How did he send his guys directly right here without even knowing I was building it up? That was so lucky. Green. How did you know I was sending guys there? No scout. I don't get it. How did he know that? Seriously, that that's annoying. He didn't scout it out, and he just happened to know that my guys are walking there. <laughs> yeah, it just happened. Yep, seems legit. I just went in there right to the town center, but I didn't see your guys. I just went there, you know? How lucky is that? Psh, no, I don't believe him. I don't know. He might have had an oracle. No, he doesn't say. Yeah, sounds like BS. Oh, it was just luck. Yep, just luck. Yep. Even if, okay, I know he's not a cheater, but I'm going to tell you guys about cheaters right now. A map hacker is someone who sees the entire map using a mod. Obviously, you don't see it. And if you check the record game, it seems like they don't see it. So he tells me to check the recorded game, but even if I were to check the recorded game, it wouldn't help me because it doesn't tell me if he's a spawn, I mean, a, a map hacker or not. So, you know. I know he's not, but I'm just saying if you guys are dealing with a map hacker, checking the record game to see their line of sight is going to show the map black. It's not going to really help you in that sense. And of course he finds my villagers right here too. See this is what I'm talking about, he didn't scout. No scouting and you spotted my villagers in three locations. See this is annoying because I don't know how he spots my villagers without any scouting. See everywhere, I don't get it. Even if I check it, he does he seriously not get it? If I check the record game, it would show him as a normal. How would checking recorded game help at all? Hmm? Tell me that. Checking record game doesn't help at all. I mean, I know I can see where he sends his units. I can tell if he's cheating like that, but it's not going to tell me directly if he's cheating or not. I don't know. 
I guess I should spam priests, I just realized, but I need gold to do that. Um, that's a good idea, though. Why is he attacking my villagers in the middle of the arrow fire? That's what I don't get. It's annoying, because good players would not do that, but because he's not a good player, he does that, but he's actually causing more damage than he should. I guarantee as soon as I go out for like even this mine he would send his guys there but of course that's not my mine so I can't go there. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do, spam priest out and of course I don't have guys here. Ah this is just an annoying game. I guess, yeah of course as soon as I send my guys out he just goes there. Oh yeah, I speak Portuguese, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't get why he's speaking Portuguese when he clearly knows I don't. Yeah, this is a really annoying game. I might just keep the first clip. It was a lot better. Even though it was boring. I don't know. Well, I guess I lost this. I have no gold mines. I don't get it. The only gold mines I have are right here and right here. And of course, green is attacking me from this location. I mean, he could be here, but he's luckily right there on the map. <sighs> I gotta admit, guys, I've been hating Asian mythology more lately because I realized how unbalanced the game is. That's why I've been playing StarCraft a lot more. So I don't know if I'm gonna stop playing Asian mythology from one point and just not continue because in this game, I lost because of the map. I'm serious, it's 100% because of the map. The gold mines are only here and here. There isn't one here. I mean, I could go here. Look, the gold mines are all here pretty much in red location. So, I keep losing games because of the mapping. And I'm pretty serious about that. If it's 1v1, of course, that doesn't happen. That's why I like 1v1s more. But in team games, I lose because of mapping. And I can't make any non-gold costing units. That's another problem with this game. Huh, so... That's that. Yeah, I might just resign. I don't know. How does he? It's. This is just. I bet there's a gold mine here and he goes there. No, he's just scouting. Yeah, he doesn't actually go there. But why does he only attack me? That's the problem. In an FFA. I don't know. This is just annoying. Because now I can't get any gold. What am I supposed to do? Seriously. There isn't really anything I can do. I can't go for gold. I can't outmass his army either. And someone's already mythic. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. See, so after this, I'm just gonna go to the record game of the first clip and commentate that, because that could at least be interesting if I show how everybody was playing. Um, still, this game is not really like that. What am I supposed to do? I maxed out villagers, but there's no way to get gold. Ever. So, how am I supposed to get gold? That's what I don't get. And I've, yeah, I don't know. This is just annoying. Let me see. Let me see if the second I move out here, he sends his guys. Oh, he's attacking from here now. Oh, okay, okay. It's not that bad. I can't send elephants here because, because the elephants are going to get swallowed by a carnivore. So that's a bad idea, actually. Um, that's the massive advantage of Gaia. Carnivore can actually swallow enough. And he takes my gold. He has a gold mine here, but he goes for this. I don't know, I might just resign. This sucks, because my map has no gold on it. So what am I supposed to do? It's just annoying. And I'm, I have too much favor as well. I really don't get this. What am I supposed to do on a map like this? <sighs> Seems like there's a battle in Red's location too. But he destroys my mid goal. And I guess I'm dead there. I can't really do anything, I don't have gold. Oh well, I might resign. My map only has gold away from base. Yeah, this is pretty cheap. He has a gold mine right next to him. I have one right here, but a forest is blocking it, so I have to go all the way around, and he can easily harass that. So, what am I supposed to do? I can't do anything. And the thing that annoys me the most about this is that I'm playing a lot better than green. Look at the scores. I'm doing a lot better, but 
<coughs> but <coughs> sneeze. But he is winning because of the map. So that's what I'm saying. This game is unbalanced, imbalanced, or whatever. So yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do. I can't win this just because of the map. Can't do anything. I know elephants are not the best option, but everything else costs too much gold. So I'd rather spam massive units that don't cost as much gold, but rather just cost a lot of food. Yeah, I can't do anything. And what if I mine out these two gold mines? There's no more gold anywhere on the map, is that correct? Only back here. I can't mine back here. Red has three mines right here. Can't mine there. Yeah, I might just resign because this clip is going in a bad direction. Or I could spam pure mythiness. That's another idea. I mean, that's the only thing I can do now. But I can't make more monuments or temples because I have no gold. So, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I need to go for the gold, but this is really cheap. Just unfair. My map has no gold on it. My entire map side. Yeah, spamming scorpion man is the only option I have. Huh. Huh. And I can guarantee you, if I resign the game right now, or I just leave either way, um, Green's gonna be like, yeah, I beat you. I don't know, I hate that because he beat me due to map, he didn't actually beat me. So, I know he's gonna say, oh, I beat you, or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that, that, oh, just everything's annoying about this. I can't mine gold, because I already told you a million times. I'm not gonna GG this, because it's not a GG at all. Oh, well, I'm gonna just commentate the recorded game of the other one and finish the 2000 special because this game might just ruin the 2000 special. It's really bad. Um, yeah, either way, no gold on my side. Oh, well. Yep, that's it. And I guarantee you, after I leave, Green's gonna say something. Yeah, there, there's no gold back here. Yeah, see, I knew it. They're just spamming 11. This is. I actually made a post on Reddit about this, but I deleted it. I hate people who spam 11. Like, it's like they try to make fun of you. Yeah, he says he does. He didn't have any gold either. He actually did have gold, but... But, yeah. Yeah, see, they're just spamming 11 as if I'm stupid. I hate people like that. Not stupid, I didn't have any gold because this game's unbalanced, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go out. Well, that game totally ruined my mood, but um, I'm just gonna open up this massive FFA, turn off Fog of War, and just see how everyone was playing. But anyways, I'm gonna play it on slow speed because I actually want to talk about what I, why I got mad there. Well, not mad, I don't know, just upset. Um, pretty much. Well, you guys saw they were spamming 11 as if they're laughing at me and making fun of me, and I was kind of trying to explain that I hate people who do that, but. If, if, like, I lose in a game against a good player, he does this. This is exactly what they do. Almost all of them do this. Almost all of them do this. They spam 11, like, haha, you suck, ha I don't do that, and it really annoys me. And this is why I feel like I don't want to be part of the competitive Age of Mythology community. Um, but I can't be part of, like, the noob community either, because I'm not a noob. So, I don't, I don't feel like I belong anymore. I don't want to be part of the good players community, because... All of them spam 11, and it's so annoying. Um, you know, it's like they're trying to make fun of you. And I don't do that. I don't even GG half the time because I don't want to offend people. So I try to be nice, but all of them are just, you know, c complete ass, I guess. But So that's why I hate people who do that um, all the time. <laughs> and even if, like, let's say, I don't even know. If they say, oh, let's do this, like, let's do a 1v1 Kronos versus Kronos, and I say, no, I'm going to be Uranos. If I say I'm going to go Uranos instead of Kronos, he's like, oh, do you fear? It's like, fear? Oops, fear? And then, oh, of course, they add the 11. So this is exactly how all competitive players talk. They just, you know, try. I mean, this is kind of a humorous statement, just fear. You know, that's that's not offensive, but I hate people who spam 11 all the time trying to make fun of you, you know? Um, I was trying to explain that earlier, but people misunderstood me as if I actually hate the others. I don't know, it's hard to explain, you know? I hope you guys understand. Either way, let's just focus on the game and end the 2000 special, because I'm I'm not going to be happy if I keep talking like this. So let's keep this a happy clip. And it seems like um, a very interesting game like we have already seen live. Now, I'm Odin, Thor, Isis, 
Odin. Let's see where all the Odin players are bunched up. Loki. Odin. Odin. Okay, this is it. In the south side of the map are all the Odin players. There are four Odin players here and one Loki. Um... Oh, oh, the other one's here too, wow. So all the Odin players are there. And the interesting thing is that not just six Odin players, it's also that there are two more Norse players. So eight out of 11 players were Norse. And of course, they're the people who didn't go random. I hate like, okay, most of the Odin players didn't go random either, but I hate how in massive FFAs, Isis always wins the game. And just because they don't go random gods, it's pretty annoying, I gotta say. But then again, this is a pretty bad map. I mean, I've never seen a King of the Hill on islands before. That's interesting. Either way, I'm going to speed up a clip because there's nothing to say. I just want to focus on the battles, where people are fighting and stuff. Um, alright, alright. So we can tell many of these players are not good because they templed up way too early. This guy didn't. Like, now they're not templing up way too early, but few people templed up at the very start of the game. Like, uh, I think this guy did. Pretty sure Orange. Yeah, Orange did, definitely. And also him. So, so yeah, the Serpents was actually a really smart move. I've never seen that in use. Then again, like I said, I never play King of the Hill often. Uh, but that was a really smart move. So as we can see, let me slow down a bit. Um, there is not much action happening just yet. Maroon doesn't seem to have any food. Oh, Pink is kind of rushing uh, Red, which seems to be bad for him since Red's doing pretty bad. So Pink is doing a good job with that. Nice rush. Um, yellow doing nothing. Oh, look at this. The town center is in range of Orange's units. So this really sucks for Orange. Green takes the most annoying town center position ever. And yeah, I'm also going for town centers right now. Um, basically, yeah, three people are going for town centers, which is a good move. On FFAs, I really recommend going for town centers early. That's a good thing to do. Uh, and look at this, oh, just an 8 minute, I thought he advanced like 7 under or something, but he got a decent, well, average heroic time, so that's light green there for you, and a nice boom. Oh, the reason why he was slower is because he started making a town center in the age. Now, this is a waste. Putting your pharaoh on a town center is not going to make you age up faster. That has been tested before, it does not make you age up faster. So he should have put the pharaoh on this town center to build it fast, instead of taking a long time. He should have done that. Um, either way... Teal is just spamming docks everywhere because he's Isis and he didn't go around God. So he's just spamming everywhere right now. And green stuff's control the middle. Good for him. Uh, let's see. Who's going to reclaim it? I'm pretty sure somebody with a Valkyrie reclaimed it, right? But who had a Valkyrie? Oh, and there goes Red. He resigns the game because Team Hungary. No, <laughs> but Pink killed him off completely. So it was nice. Um, what's happening here? Orange is also going for a town center. Nice, nice. <laughs> what kind of house placement is this? I mean, I guess he's trying to protect his town center with a wall up. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. But, you know, if you're trying to farm, you can't farm here anymore because you blocked the spot off completely. So that's another way to look at it. Um, he tries to go for it. Weedy is the one who tries to go for the middle. But, yeah, ancestors. And this is actually really good. I didn't even realize this. I should have used longboats to transport my ships, not a transport ship. Longboats have more hit points than a transport ship. If I would have used longboats to send my units to the middle instead of a transport ship, they would have not died. Wow, I'm serious. Let me just check how much... Okay, it can only carry five people, but if I would have used a lot of longboats to send all my units here instead of transport ships, I would have actually stopped Teal from winning the game. I just realized that right now. I can't believe it. Sorry, but I always forget that longboats can carry units. That's why I made transport ships. Um, but I should have made longboats. I can't believe it. How could I forget that? <sighs> oh, well, this game's over now. I can't really fix it. Let me speed it up again. Not much action happening just yet. Um, nice wall off coming from green. Maroon doing pretty bad at home base. I've got to turn off Game Ranger, so I might get spammed. So I gotta finish commenting this fast. Uh, it seems like this town center did take him off of his wood. That's what she. But uh, let's see. Oh, why well, actually took the middle for a brief moment here? And he's Loki. Got a free Valkyrie there. Now, how's everyone doing? It seems like I have four town centers, Teal has three town centers. He could be going for these as well. Look at all these town centers surrounding black. He could actually go for five town centers right here. But unfortunately, he's a really bad player, so he didn't do that. But he got so lucky. He could have gone for five town centers. I only had four near me. Uh, of course, this is not even mine, but um, 
This was really good. He should have gone for five town centers. I wish I would have been in Black's position and I could have gone for five town centers. That would be just overpowered. Uh, but either way, let's see what's happening. Hmm, Maroon taking town center there. Kiel sends one villager and one pharaoh on the other side of the map. I can't believe how I said that. Other. But I meant to say on the um, opposite side of the map, but then I decided to say other. So on the other side of the map, and a nice armory next to temple placement here by two players. Remember, they're not allied each other, so these are enemy buildings right next to each other in a normal game. So that's pretty interesting, you don't see that very often. Um, now of course, the middle fight begins. Uh, Teal captures the middle and he starts making a mid goal there. I think, yeah I could have done lots of things to actually do better. I should have seriously made long boats, not not whatever I made. So, Teal goes through the middle. Hmm. What else is happening? Uh, oh, nice, nice. So, Orange is fighting Green, but Green has Elephants, whereas Orange only has Barracks units. Now, the problem is he's making Axemen, which is the worst option since uh, the enemy has zero infantry. He has Cavalry, he has Archers, he has no infantry though. So, Axemen are a complete waste. Uh, he's really just wasting his resources right here. He should be making spearmen and slingers, not axemen. I guess even pure slingers would be a good idea, just not axemen. That's the point. Um, either way, let's look at how the others are doing. Pretty poor farm placement here from Dark Templar. Nice name, by the way. Um, and let's see. Pretty saturated on the goal. That's fine. Hmm, not much happening. Um, this is uh, weird. He has five on gold there. I hope he has more on gold somewhere. Oh yeah, he does. He's kind of mixing in too many gatherers on gold instead of dwarves, but it's fine. Um, and the war just continues here. So there's nothing more interesting than this battle, really. I'm just going to focus on this. Uh, Green is making lots of priests. A very good move, but he isn't focusing down the scorpion well enough. It's going to die, but just not that fast. Um, now, I don't know where he's sending these villagers, but he's still making axemen. A very bad option. He should be going for a spearman slinger. Or just slinger, like I said. Huh, <sighs> can't believe it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep this game sped up and get to the end pretty quickly because there's nothing interesting happening. Now, Maroon does throw up a hill fort, decides to pump out some siege units, which is really good. He can kill off white real easily like this. And it seems like yellow is dying. Wow, pink actually kills two guys. I can't believe it. I thought Weedy killed Red. He said he killed him, but no, pink was the one who killed two guys. I cannot believe it. Nice job. Uh, three minutes left on the timer, the game is almost gonna end, and this, look at this. Okay, okay, wait, 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 I gotta see where I could have sent my ships. So he has two ships here, he has a few ships here, and some here. This is a really good spot, but instead I sent it here. So if I would have dropped the, fit, the transport ships, I mean, right here, they would have survived. If I would have brought longbows, they would have survived too. If I would have just done anything differently, I would have survived. Um, so I can't believe it. That game, I just barely lost it, just like that. And the ISIS guy decides to go for rocks. I think that's actually a good option in a map like this, since it's so huge. Uh, and Fimble Winter. This really crushed my economy. Can't believe it. I had 120 villagers in time. I should have just used Ragnarok right now, I mean. Um, I could have. Yeah, I should have just went in before he made the Ballista Towers. And there's the phone. I'll be back. Hello. Yo, yeah, hello. Oh, uh, make the bus. Oh, I'm going to this. Hot. All right, sorry about that. That was just some dude. So let's just finish this game fast. Um, hmm. 
So this is what I'm struggling to go for the middle, but I'm not gonna focus on that right now. I wanna see what the other players were doing in this part of the map. Uh, at this part of the game, I mean. So, it seems like a lot of action is happening here between green and orange, but that's the only action really on the map. Oh, never mind. Maroon moves in to attack white with Jarls and possibly some siege as backup, which is really good for him. Uh, Teal slightly defending off like black, but black is not doing anything really, so <laughs> not much to say there. And the main action is, well obviously the middle, but the main action I'd say is right here once again. So green is really pushing orange back with the elephants because orange cannot counteract these units since he's making axemen. Axemen now are not a waste though since he's actually making spearmen, so he could kill those off, but um, this is still bad. <laughs> I gotta say. Hmm. Uh, not sure exactly what else is interesting. Yeah, mainly just this army right here. Orange loses the town center, and look at this farm spread. I can't believe it. He actually put farms three tiles away from any food source back here. I never do that since look at the walking distance. That's a bit too much. I go two tiles away, but this is like two and a third. Look at that small gap. Um, so yeah, that's, that's his style of playing, I guess. Either way, Teal wins because my transport ships died here. And of course, he even had his son of Osiris right here. I got so unlucky. I mean, I swear. I could have just dropped a bit further off. I don't know. But yeah, that kind of sucked. The mapping really sucked. But still, it was a good game, I guess. It just the mapping sucked and I got unlucky there. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I didn't really have um, a good idea as to what I should put for the 2000 special. But many people... Actually, like, dozens of people suggested that I should do this specifically. A massive FFA on King of the Hill. So that's exactly what we did. Except this is King of the Sea, not King of the Hill. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it was still enjoyable. So, hope it was nice. Thank you for the 2000. I just want to make a quick quick uh, speech. I had to thank my right hand for... No, I'm kidding. But um, basically, I made this channel a while ago, years ago. I think two years ago. But I made it so that I can get 100 subscribers. And I can have a community for Asian mythology. That was my entire goal for for this channel because Esso was my main place and all of my friends quit so I was really sad. So I wanted to start making videos to bring back a hundred people, um, a hundred active people and you know that would be good. And I got a lot further than that so I want to thank you guys for that. We're 2,000 of course like half of them are inactive but that doesn't matter. 2,000 subscribers and the Reddit community also has more than a few thousand. Um, I think it has like well, over a thousand, that's all I know. So, thank you for the Reddit community, too, for also keeping the game alive. And I'm... Yeah, I just want to say thanks, so... I will be producing more videos later on. And that's that. <laughs> See ya.